Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about these Graco clean shot valves. Hi, my name's Josh. So today we're going to be talking about these Graco clean shot valves and later on in the video I will show you one in action. So when you order one of these valves from us, this is exactly what you'll get. So as you can see, it comes with a new Rackx guard and a 517 spray tip, which is one of the most popular spray tips we sell for wall painting. So when you're buying one of these valves, bear in mind that you're getting a new guard and a new spray tip. So the guard would normally be 25 to 30 pound and the tip's normally about 20 pound. So the valve itself is great value for money. So what does this little valve do and what might you use it for? So it's been designed to stop annoying little spits and dribbles that you use when using a gun extension like this one. So when you're using an airless unit, they work by taking high pressure from our pump and forcing it through a small hole, so a spray tip in this case. Um, forcing the paint through that small hole at high pressure is what causes the paint to atomize. So when we're releasing the trigger of our gun, what we're doing is pulling the needle back and forward in the gun itself and pulling it off of a seat which allows the flow of material to come through. And as you can see, from the end of the gun to the spray tip itself, we've got a tiny gap there, so we aren't gonna get any spits in your nicely painted finish. The only way we are going to get spits is if the needle in your gun is actually worn. So this all changes when we add an extension. So if we take the guard off, chuck on an extension. So what you can see we've done is we've moved the restriction, which is the spray tip, away from where we're cutting off the flow of paint with the, uh, the trigger itself. So what that now leaves us with is this distance here is now full of high pressure material. And that now because we've got an open hole at the end, which is our spray tip, We've, that pressure is now gonna equalize and escape through the spray tip. So let's say we're spraying at 1800 PSI. So there's 1800 PSI in this tube. So we're gonna let go of the trigger and we've still got pressure in here after the needle that's trying to get out. So what we're doing, as we've let go of the trigger, the pressure is coming out and as it's coming out, the pressure is dropping and stopping the material from atomizing and that's what gives us our spits and dribbles in the paint finish. So the clean shot valve was made to stop this from happening. So it does this by adding a secondary valve at the end of our extension. So as we let go of the trigger, there's a pressure drop in this tube, which causes this valve to operate. So there's no mechanical connection between the two. It's simply operated by a spring loaded needle that closes onto a seat, just like in the gun. And the spring allows material to flow in spray mode at anything above around 700 PSI or so. And anything less than that, the flow will be shut off. So this stops fitting because the pressure in this tube doesn't drop lower than around 700 PSI because it's sandwiched between these two valves. So when the trigger is released, providing your material can atomize to some degree at around 700 PSI, this should dramatically reduce the amount of spitting you get. So the only control you have with this valve is this knob here. So this allows you to switch between spray and flush mode. So this basically increases and decreases the pressure on the spring so that the valve opens at lower or higher pressures. So when you're flushing machine, you're gonna to wanna to turn it all the way to the flush mode. Otherwise, you're gonna to need to flush your machine at 700 PSI or above. So what you can find is with really thin materials, you can spray them at less than 700 PSI. But now we've got this on, uh, on the front. If we've got it in spray mode, you may find that because it's lower than 700 PSI, you may actually not get any paint coming out. So if we've got no paint coming out because our material is letting us spray at less than 700 PSI, you have a couple of options. First of all, the obvious one is to increase that pressure. So obviously by doing that, you are gonna get more overspray. Uh, alternatively, what you can do is switch to flush mode. However, that does increase the risk of spitting because we've got less pressure on that spring shutting off the valve. So in this scenario, I'd probably opt for increasing the pressure on my machine, providing it was to an acceptable level. So the clean shot valve will fit onto any brand gun or extension that uses the same 7 8 of an inch G thread connection. The head of the valve itself actually acts like a swivel head, so you can, be, so you can adjust it to suit whatever type of surface that is being sprayed. I have also actually seen them used on the end of the gun like this. This would work as a swivel, but not reduce the amount of spitting from the gun. The only way that it would ever reduce spitting is that if the needle in your gun is worn and the uh, needle in your valve isn't. So I've also seen the clean shot valve used before the extension to allow you to hold the gun more comfortably. So that would look something like this. So this extension will still spit because we still have pressure in this tube that can escape. So in this scenario, if I had a large sealant to paint, I'd be using something like this, which is called the Graco inline gun. So we can spray directly up to the ceiling without the need of a swivel. 
If we don't have one of those, you can just use a standard um, swivel. So then you'd have that at the front of the gun to point it upwards, and then you'd have your clean shot valve at the end so that we don't get spitting. Or if you're feeling particularly extravagant, you could always use two clean shot valves, one at the beginning of the extension and one at the end. So we have had confusion before with the term clean shot itself. So this is a range of products made by Graco. It's not an individual product. So this is the clean shot valve. This is a clean shot extension. It doesn't mean that every valve comes with an extension and vice versa. They are separate products and can be bought individually. So before we see the valve in action, there's a couple of things worth mentioning. So the maximum working pressure of the valve itself is 3,600 PSI. So it can't be used on units spraying over that. And depending on the application, Graco do not guarantee that the valve completely eliminates spitting. So we often get asked if we can fit these parts to the Ultras and Ultra Max handheld. So we can with the Ultra handheld and the Ultra corded, but we can't with the Ultra Max. The Ultra Max has a one inch thread on the front of the gun, so none of the valves, swivels or extensions are going to fit. Uh, lastly, spitting becomes worse with longer extensions, so you may find you get away with that one on something like a 25 centimeter extension, but when you start using the longer ones like this 50 centimeter extension, you may find that a clean shot is going to be required. So now we've got all that out of the way, let's see one in action. Okay, so first of all, I've got a one meter extension without a clean shot valve on the end with a 514 FFLP spray tip, spraying it around 1800 PSI just with a standard trade emulsion. So let's see if it spits. So you can see at the start and the finish of each stroke, I'm getting horrible spits that are completely unacceptable. And even if you were to spray over the top of those, they would still come out. Okay, so now I've got exactly the same setup. So one meter extension, but now with a clean shot valve, 514 FFLP tip again, trade emulsion at 1800 PSI, so nothing else changed. So as you can see, much better, no spitting at all. So I hope this video has been useful and I've put a link in the description below to all the products we've discussed. So if you want to find out any more, you can check them out there. If you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please hit the thumbs up icon. And if you want to find out more and get access to exclusive offers, then please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. So that way you get a little notification every time we upload a new video. That way you aren't gonna miss out on any exclusive offers or content. If you've got any questions, please feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.